Hello. In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to add our shopping cart plugin to your digital magazine. This will allow you to enable your reader to place a product order directly from within the publication. You can only do so if, of course, you already have a shopping cart feature established and set up on your web page. First, we select the new icon, which is the shopping cart icon, from our interactive panel under the design tab. We select an area on the screen where we would like that icon to appear by clicking and dragging. We can place it either as a hotspot or as a button on the page. Let's look at one I've done earlier. In this, we've chosen a button. And the first thing that we do is we take the URL for the product page that's relevant for this particular shopping cart. Underneath that, we need the URL for the basket or the shopping cart into which we'd like to place our item so that they can complete the purchase transaction. If you take a look at the advanced options at the bottom of the screen, like many of our other hotspot or button options, we have rollover text, which we can present to the reader. Or you may leave that blank if you so choose. If you'd like, you can place a rotation, number of degrees rotation angle on the button when it appears on screen. You simply do so by increasing the amount of degrees here in this box. Okay, so for now, we've added our shopping cart as a button. We had to give the URL for the product page, and we had to give the URL for the shopping cart page. Let's click OK. Now let's look at the end user experience when they view the magazine. Here we are in our magazine, and this is where we added the shopping cart button. So if I just click on this button, you'll see that it will in fact open up the product page for me. And there's my product page, and I can move around the screen using the scroll bar options here. And when I'm happy with the product that I've chosen, or if I want to see no more details, I can also actually click on the Add to Basket directly within this. This is presented as an iframe to your readers on the screen. So click Add to Basket. Now, with my product added, at any stage, I can check my shopping basket as I browse through the magazine. Because I'm on a desktop version, this will open the shopping basket in a brand new tab for me. So I can check the status of my basket, and there's the product that I've added. Okay. So, what we've done today, just to recap. Here in the Design tab, under the Interactive panel, we selected Add a New Shopping Cart button. But of course, we don't always have to add that as a button. We could simply select an area of the page, and that could be a graphic or a text, which would act as a hotspot area. It may, for example, be a piece of text that says, Buy Now. And this will launch the correct product URL page and the correct shopping cart page for your reader in which to conduct the transaction. And just to remind you of those advanced settings once again, you have the rollover text, the ability to shade different areas for moving in and out of that hotspot area, and you also have the option to rotate your button if you choose to use a button or your hotspot area on the screen by fixing the number of degrees here. And that concludes this section on adding a shopping cart. Thanks for your watching.